It's Christine with the Camera Effect Promotions, and I'm here with Paul Mark from the band Silverstein. How's Warp treating you today? It's hot, but today it's good. Better than usual, actually. That's good to hear. No rain. Not too humid. Yep. Kind of breezy back here. Yeah. For someone who has never heard of your band, what would you tell them to listen to first? Um, I don't know if you like put a chainsaw on a washing machine maybe that would be close <laughs> maybe um like if you put a microphone underwater when a submarine fires a missile maybe if you juiced a bunch of golf clubs <laughs> how, how are those three perfect what's your favorite song to play live um Probably one of our newer ones. We've been playing a song called Milestone a lot on this tour. It's fun to play. It's like big and beefy on the guitar. So it's, you know, not too complex. Yeah. How many years have you been um, in Silverstein now? Three years. Okay, so out of the three years, what would you say is one of your favorite shows? Oh, there's been a lot, a lot of really great shows. We've definitely had some good warp Tour experiences. I like traveling a lot, so I think of always, you know, sort of stuff abroad. I think we played in Moscow a couple years ago and the show is crazy. And it's just neat to be as far away from home as you can and play the wildest show possible. Agreeable, yeah. Um, when did you get to start in music? When I was really young, my mother was a piano teacher. So I've been playing music forever. So you play piano too? I did, yeah. I quit because it was lame. Um, <laughs> I started playing guitar, which is basically my only real regret in life. That and shaving the sides of my head, because damn, growing hair back is hard. I'm yeah, looking pretty good right now, though. Yeah, it's coming it back. Good. It's coming it's back coming in. in. It's coming back in. It's been a long <laughs> process. Yeah, I don't play piano very well anymore, but I wish I did. You can always go back to it. I'm trying. It's very difficult. Um, do you happen to know how Silverstein came up with the band name? Yep, yeah. uh, they took it from Canadian author Shel Silverstein. It was a book they had around when they were forming the band. Is, is she a poet too? He, yeah, Shel Silverstein. Okay, yeah. Fair mix up, his name is Shel. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Um, I saw, I think it was a poem about a snail or something. He's got lots of really cute weird poems. They like, yeah. they feel like they're for kids, but they're like, as an they're adult. They're really deep though. Yeah, they've got value I think. What is your favorite uh, date of work so far? Uh, like favorite state? The show yesterday was not as good as today, but the weather yesterday and where our bus was in relation to our stage and catering, it was the easiest day of work tour for me. Flat, yeah. I could ride my bike around. It was very nice. So I'd say yesterday was maybe my favorite. Is there a, a state you're most excited for that you haven't played yet? No, I don't really. Warped Tour is weird like that because like yesterday we were technically in New Jersey, but it was like a Philadelphia show. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. It's hard to like break it down like that. It's always good to be in California because the weather is typically the best. Like it doesn't rain in California <laughs> and it's not too hot, but it's still warm. Yeah. But I don't know. We were just there and I went into the ocean and I stepped in oil and I was pissed. So, oh my gosh. So maybe fuck, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the internet community helps with the acceptance of everyone, like sexual preference, gender, race, religion, or do you think it makes it worse, or is it a, to a toss up? Whoa, it's a changing gears quite a lot here. I don't know, I've been thinking about that as like, I feel like that it's your responsibility as a thinking person to just consider these perspectives, and the internet has been really good for getting those out there. Yeah. However, I don't think, I think if anything, it sort of, it has, it can exacerbate problems because you get Definitely. the craziest people from either side have the loudest voice typically and I think then you get like you get the crazy guy in like Alabama who's like what I'm gonna marry my toaster to my horse and it's like <laughs> well no obviously not that and then that comment pisses off all the people on the far left who are like yeah. you're just a crazy redneck and it's like okay well this isn't helping we're just like this is a yelling match now Definitely. and so I think that's bad but I do think that um, we're in a better position than we have been. The world is sort of becoming more accepting of things, whether they like it or not, as they have to be. And I think that's good. I mean, I'm from Canada. This shit is all crazy to me down here. Like, yeah, like no healthcare is insane. Yeah. No gay marriage was crazy until, you know. And now the fact that states can repeal it or they yeah, can like countywide ban it, that's absurd. Someone's got to sort that out. But 
yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is a great country, and, and I hope it can figure its shit out because there's uh, it's so slipping too. in some ways that are just not acceptable. Because if you if it's not bothering you and it's not in your life, what's the point of hating on it? Yeah, well, I mean, the simplest argument is don't like gay marriage, don't marry a gay pe person. Like, yeah, not really. you don't have to do that. So I don't know, but yeah. you know, <laughs> what are you gonna do? I play in a rock band. I don't decide policy and procedure. That's true. Do you guys have a music com new music coming out? We just put out a record on May 19th. It's our seventh studio full-length album. It's out on Rise Records. It is good and new, <laughs> and it's good. So What's your favorite song to play off? Of? Milestone, as I said, probably. We haven't been playing. We've only played five off it ever, so we're still learning. I imagine there's going to be some in the fall when we tour again that we're going to learn and, and play that I think might be more fun, but right now, Milestone, for sure. Um, what's the crowd's favorite? Off the new record? Hard to say because we haven't played them any. Uh, I mean, we've been a band for so long. We have so yeah. many songs that have stuck around. Um, my heroine is always a big one. But to be honest, I don't really care what the crowd likes because I think my heroine's boring as hell to play. So like, <laughs> I wish we never had to play it again. But the crowd seems to like it, and I like the crowd, so it's my gift to them. I'll be bored for a couple minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many tattoos you have, or do you just count them as a sleeve? I have no idea. Some amount. Some amount, like, between, like, four and a hundred. Oh, wow. I only have I two. I really don't know. Yeah, it's a weird thing. You stop caring eventually. Do you remember your first? Yeah, I, I, I got, like, I didn't know if I was going to be, like, a guy that got tattoos, so I got them on my ankles, and I was, you know, very discreet about it. Yeah. And then I just said, fuck it. And now they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, once you move out of your parents' house and they, you know, depending on how your yeah. parents react to tattoos, I didn't want to tell them. So it was easy to hide them because I could wear socks. Yeah, definitely. But then, yeah, I just told them and it all went out the window. <laughs> so that's fine. They don't care. Yeah, it happens. Um, well, thank you for your time today. No, my pleasure. Uh, this is been the Camera Effect Promotions. I'm Paul Mark from Silverstein. Thank you. Thank Hope you. to see you again soon.